Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to 88 Mile Per Hour Adventures. My name is James, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Theme Park News. This is going to be a series I'm starting, and this is going to be released every other day where I give uh, some of the theme park news around the world. A lot of it's going to be Florida-based, you know, Disney and uh, Universal Studios, but other theme parks around the world as well. Just random news and updates on different things that's going to be going on in the theme parks. Uh, like I said, it's going to be in every other thing. If you saw uh, yesterday on my channel, I do a cruise news uh, 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 video, and that's going to be basically they're just going to alternate. It's going to be cruise news, theme park, cruise, theme park. Um, so if you want to check out either of those, um, it'll be an every other day event. Or if you like both, you can check it out every day. Um, I did do the first episode of cruise news yesterday, so I'll leave a card up in the uh, corner if you want to check that one out. If you happen to be uh, interested in random cruise news going on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into the very first episode of Theme Park News. We're going to be talking about Halloween Horror Nights, a new uh, Christmas time uh, holiday, I guess, uh, event that's going to be going on at Hollywood Studios, and a ride update from Six Flags. So let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, before I really get started, let me go ahead and invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like I said, going to be putting these videos on theme park news out every other day. And then the opposite day is cruise news on top of our regular normal adventures around to different places, uh, theme parks, cruising, any kind of fun adventures we get into. We also record those vlogs as well. That'll also be posted on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, what your favorite theme park is or if you're excited about any of these theme park news stories that I'm about to give you. So let's go ahead and get into the stories. The first one is going to be Disney has announced in the past few days a new holiday event. This is going to be going on at Hollywood. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Hollywood Studios, Florida. Um, it is going to be uh, called Disney Jollywood Nights. Now, this is going to be on 10 select nights. It's going to be between the dates of November 11th and December 20th. It'll be 10 select nights in that time period. This will be a separate ticketed event, so you do actually have to pay extra. The ticket uh, price will range from $159 to $179. That's additional from the uh, regular price of admission that you would pay. Now, if you just want to go to the event at night, you don't have to actually have a general admission ticket to go during the day. You just obviously won't be able to go until the evening time. I believe it said they'll uh, let's start, uh, start letting people in about 7 p.m. for the event. Event lasts four hours from 8.30 p.m. until 12.30 in the morning. Um, there's basically when you go in, there's going to be a DJ playing holiday songs. It's also going to be a Latin street fair that they have on uh, Commissary Lane. Uh, it was also announced that uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy will host a live holiday special at the Theater of the Stars, so you can look forward to that. And then also, uh, I guess during the earlier part at the uh, Theater of the Stars, replacing the Frozen sing-along, they're going to have a Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie Nightmare Before Christmas show, so that'll be going on then. And then there'll be also, obviously, uh, some of the rides. I'm not sure how many of the rides, if it'll be all of them will be operational, but you will be able to get on some of them. So like I said, that's going to be a special ticketed event, 10 select nights from November 11th through December 20th. Uh, so if you're going to be going for the whole day, that could get kind of pricey. Um, the ticket's basically either the similar price to a, just a, a day ticket. So you'd basically be paying for two um, if you want to check that out. Or like I said, if you want to just go at night, you can always go at night and, and uh, enjoy the uh, activity only at night. Of course, that's you know, 159 to 179 for only four hours. But hey, that's uh, that's up to you if you want to check out uh, the Disney Jollywood Nights at Hollywood Studios. All right. And also at Six Flags Great Adventure, the tallest roller coaster in the world, King to Ka, is now closed. It's been closed for the past few days. Uh, basically, there was an issue with the ride. Uh, uh, new, this is in New Jersey, if you don't know where Six Flags Great Adventure is. It's in New Jersey. Um, a state official said, and I quote, a mechanical failure of a component of the launch system. So basically the ride kind of just shoots you down and you go up this gigantic hill and it goes over. So what had happened was there was a, a mechanical failure is what they're calling it. And it wouldn't actually, the ride wouldn't go up over that first giant hill. So it actually rolled back 
into the uh, station. So that is the issue with that one. Uh, the state officials did say that they were uh, speaking with the manufacturers of the ride to try to get this one back up and running, but they didn't really have a time frame on when that might happen. So for the foreseeable future, King Da Ka at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure will be closed until they can get that uh, ride fully operational. All right, we are just now getting into the summer. So once you get into the summer, of course, you got to think of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. That's going to be coming up soon. This year is actually going to be the longest, uh, the most days that Hollywood Hor uh, Halloween Horror Nights is available. It's actually going to be 44 nights, which is a record for the uh, amount of nights that will actually take place. It's going to start on September 1st of this year, Halloween Horror Nights. They did announce that there will be a Last of Us house is going to be uh, taking place this year. Basically, uh, it said you'll follow Joel and Ellie as you encounter the infected stalkers and clickers along with hunters while you navigate to the Pittsburgh quarantine zone. Definitely sounds cool. I did watch uh, The uh, Last of Us on HBO. I didn't play the video game, but I did watch the show. It was really cool. So there will be a Last of Us house as part of Halloween Horror Nights. And this is on top of the uh, already announced Chucky house that will it be a uh, part of Halloween Horror Nights as well. So obviously as we go through the summer, I mean, we're what, halfway through June by when I'm recording this video, obviously there'll be some more houses that are going to be announced by the time we roll up into um, September 1st. But so far we know we're at least getting Chucky and we're getting The Last of Us that'll be part of Halloween Horror Nights. Like I said, 44 nights this year for that one. And it'll start on September 1st will be the first night you can get into uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Always a uh, Amazing time at Universal Studios, Florida. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the first episode of Theme Park News. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about uh, this, if this is something you're interested in seeing. Uh, like I said, let me know uh, if you're going to be going to this Jollywood, uh, <laughs> Jollywood Nights uh, that's going to be at Disney or Halloween Horror Nights. Definitely. I've actually never been to Halloween Horror Nights because I can never find somebody that wants to go. But this year, I'm determined Go to Halloween Horror Nights. So if you want to go with me, just leave me a comment down below too. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will see y'all in the next video.